Hey guys, Lethal Leslie here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get your hands on the old brass compass so that you can craft the Ravenclaw Talisman. So let's get into it. So step one towards getting this compass is starting this mission here. And let me show you where this is on the map to start with, always the best place. So you come to Strawberry and you, if you just start heading out of Strawberry towards the northwest, you will see this pop up if you haven't already activated the mission. If you have already activated the mission, then that's fine. You don't need to come and do this again. So like I said, come to Strawberry, come here and activate this stranger mission. And he's going to tell you to go and get all the, like find all the rock carvings for him. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the mission myself now. I won't show you guys the clip and we'll get into the next part. So once you've spoken to him, he tells you you need to find him the rock carvings, obviously. So I'm going to go to all 10 rock carving locations for you right now as fast as we can. Give you the map locations and show you what the scene looks like. So the first one we're going to be looking at is left of Strawberry, right by the river Oangila, I think is how you say it, and it's right there where I am now, it's right in front of me, so I'm going to go off here now, you, and this is it on the map there, so if you, you can just see it glowing, and that is number one, let's go on to number two. The second location you're going to want to go to is right above Strawberry this time, and by the word west, it's literally like I said, this like right by the T in West. So that's where you want to be going for that one. Let's go and have a look at the actual thing you're looking for. So it's above you, so make sure you look for it. As you see, you can't see the um, clue if you do that. And then you want to press inspect. Let's get on to the third one. So we're at location number three now. And the thing I would go off is New Hanover here. It's by the N in New Hanover. Zoom in and then you want to have a look at Flatneck Station and go to the, this area where I am right now. You should be able to spot it quite nicely. It's right in front of me now. Let me show you it in game. And this is what it looks like in game. So we're going to go and inspect this one as number three. On to number four. And for this one, I would look under the A in Amberino to start with until you find Mount Hagen. Then you want to just go ahead and click at the end of the trail. And it's just near the end of the trail, as you can see where I am here. Very easy to find this one. Um, Mount Hagen. Let's show you where it is actually in game. And this is what it looks like in game. So you're going to come up the path and you're going to see it straight away. Let's get on to the next one. For number five, you want to go between the B and the A in Amberino. And you, if you go just below it, you can see this river that just flows right up here. And you're going to find it right at the top of the river on the wall. So make sure you come in from the river area or something like that. And you'll find it right here up above you on the wall. And that is number five. Let's go on to number six. Number six is just below number five. So it's very close as you see that one was there. And it's just below. So if you like follow the river down, if you can get across here, you'll be able to get to this one quite nifty. And it's by the sea here. If you just follow the path around and then come off and up the hill. Let me show you where it is in game. And this is what it looks like. So let's inspect it and move on to number seven. Location number seven is by Bakus Station or however you pronounce it. And also by Fort Wallace. So make sure you're coming around the back and going right up the back of this mountain. And you will find it up here. Do not come around the part by the river or you're not going to be able to find it. Let me go and show you where it is in game. As you can see, the river's all the way down there. We're here and the location is here for this one. So let's get on to the next one. Location number eight can be found right above the end in New Hanover. It's right along the train track. And yeah, it's actually this side of the mountains though. So come from the Moonstone Pond area. I came from just this road right here. And you can see this is where I've tagged. Let me show you what it looks like in game. And this is what you're looking like, looking for for this one in game. So let's go ahead and inspect and move on to the next one. So the penultimate one is right between the E and the R in Hanover. So you want to zoom in where I am and it's by Elysium Pool. And it's right on the road, this one. So you don't even go, got to go off the beaten track at all, really. So just tag right where my horse is on the road and it'll take you right to it. Let me show you where it is in game. As you can see, it's just up there. So you'll see it right when you come here. It's a massive rock. It's really cool. So we're going to go and inspect that one and move on to the last rock carving. And the last location you're going to want to go to is Roanoke. It's just above Ainsburg and just above where we've just been, actually. And, yeah, so you want, you're going to want to come from the left side on this one. So come up here and you'll see it. Let's go in game and have a look what it is. And you can see it's just up here. So let's inspect this one and move on to the next part. Once you have all 10 rock carvings, the next thing you want to do is go to the post office and send mail. And we're going to choose to send all 10 of these. So let's just click on them. Once they're all sent, the next thing we're going to do is go and find somewhere to camp because we won't be able to get our mail for at least 24 hours. So jump on your horse and find the nearest place you can camp and then camp for a total of 24 hours. Once you have done that, you will get a message up in the top left, hopefully, saying you have unopened mail there. You can see it's just popped up for me. So jump on your horse and head back to the post office. 
So once in the post office, go to receive mail and you'll get your awards. And they are Kentucky Bourbon, $10, Rock Statue. And the most important one is the invitation from Frank Sinclair, which is an invitation to his home. So once you've collected all them, you want to head to his home. So let me just show you real fast where it's on the map again, just in case you are wondering, don't want to go back to the start of the video. It is just above the S in strawberry. Not hard to find at all. So once we're here, we've got to get off and go to the door and a cutscene will start. I don't think he's actually in here. Once the cutscene is finished, head back into the house to find the last item we're looking for, which is just on the table here, Old Brass Compass. So once you finish the cutscene, head back in and on the table, you're going to finally get our hands on the Old Brass Compass. Wow, did this take some time, guys. I'm going to leave that one there. Take that back to the fence and you can craft it. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, as always, and take it easy.